G'day you mob, how's it going? Welcome to this episode of Pete vs Plants. I am Pete and the plants are in the box. Oh, at least that's what I'm assuming. So this arrived this morning and I thought I'll save this and open it in a little video. So yeah, what have we got? I'm hoping that this is a rare philodendron that I purchased last week. Ooh, it could be. It might be, it might be a cactus. It might be a cactus. In fact, it could be a cactus. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I have a few things in the mail that I'm looking forward to getting. I think this might be because I've seen people who post cacti and they tend to do it like this where they completely um, what would you say? They use brown paper and they completely tape over the top of it and yeah, chuck it in the parcel. But whereas people with aeroids tend to just usually have the leaves out and about, I guess it's not as much of a compact kind of plant, but we will see. Oh man, there's even a staple on the top here. Would you look at that? This could go either way. It's still, it's pretty light. I don't know, it's, well, the top feels a bit loose. So I'm not sure if it's a cacti or not. I guess we'll find out. Just shut up and open it, Pete. Yeah, it's not a cacti. <laughs> Cactus. I wonder if you guys have any idea what this is. Any ideas? This is a philodendron luxuriance. And I will try and show you some images on screen of what it looks like when it's large. But it's effectively, and I know this is going to offend a lot of people, but it is effectively a gloriosum but prettier. Here comes the hate comments and the downvotes, but, or downvotes, the dislikes. But it is absolutely stunning when it gets larger. And these, I found her still really, really rare in Australia. They're very hard to get uh, your hands on. My sort of plant mate partner, uh, Sumac, and I actually purchased a larger one earlier this year together, and he is currently growing it out. But I saw this one come up and I think that the uh, seller, Kevin, shout out to Kevin, if he's watching this, thank you, got the plant. Um, he was selling it for 220 with postage on top of that and I got it for 220 with postage included. So thank you, Kevin. But I'm looking forward to hopefully growing this plant out and having it as an investment plant, but also one that I, I'm just curious to see how it goes get it large and um, have it looking beautiful because yeah, it's one that you don't see many people with to be honest. And I think a big part of that is the fact that it is very difficult to keep happy. So knock on wood that I don't kill this thing, but we'll see how we go. And I can already see that part of the leaf has actually been cut off on both the smaller leaves, which makes me think it probably dried out and had a bad time of it in whatever conditions it was in previously. So this one might have to go into the uh, humidity cabinet, the Mills bow that I've got for a little while, um, just to make sure that it's happy whilst it's still so small, because yeah, if it, if it dries out, it's probably gonna hit the deck, it's gonna cark it. All right, um, I'm just trying to remove the sticky tape without damaging the plant. It's one of these things, if you wanna send these in pots, with the soil in there, this is really good packaging, right? You put the paper towel over the top of the soil and then sticky tape over the top, but it is always such a bitch to unpack without doing much damage to the plant. You have to be very kind of finicky and, and careful with it. So I'm going to feel like a little brain surgeon, right? Just snip this bit here. <laughs> I have a feeling that brain surgery is probably a little bit harder than this, just a little bit. A little bit more in depth and complicated. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it's easy as. <laughs> Imagine that, the, the hidden secret, the brain surgery is actually a cinch. Just cut to a scene of someone doing brain surgery and they're like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just remove this bit, la la la. Hopefully they do okay. <laughs> and send me the money. All right. Yeah, it's always so finicky. With small plants like this. Don't damage it. Uh, Okay, all right, we got it out. Boom, sweet, we have removed it. Nice, looks like it's got a nice root system. 
I'm not sure if you can really see at the top there. I can see the roots going down here into the soil. I may actually just top dress this a little bit with my seedling mix because it is in quite chunky um, soil here at the moment, but I can see that there are quite a few sort of exposed roots at the top and it looks like because there's algae on the top and because I can see that these top roots are really hairy, that tells me that this thing, this thing has been sitting in a very, very, very humid um, condition or set of conditions. So it may have even been in like a prop box. Uh, so I'm probably going to, or I am going to, chuck some soil on the top here and then I myself might put this in a prop box. I might treat it for pests quickly, but because it only has like three leaves, I'm not too phased about um, keeping it separate for ages from the rest of the plants in my collection because you can usually just do a quick scan, see if there's anything really obvious. And then if you do give it a spray with neem oil or whatever other insecticide you're using, um, you know, just, it should be enough. You're taking a gamble, but it's kind of like a somewhat educated, safer gamble, right? Than bringing in some massive plant and not checking it at all and just introducing it into uh, your collection without any kind of treatment. So there we go. Top dressed it a little bit. I can feel that the pot is sort of a little bit weighty, so it probably doesn't need watering for a day or two. I might just leave it and see how it goes. Keep an eye on it. And that's the thing I have to just remember to actually keep an eye on it because with three or so hundred plants, the trouble becomes uh, forgetting things and not checking up on them and then something going wrong. So anyway, there you go. Philodendron Luxurians. This is gonna be an absolute stunner uh, when it gets larger. And I'm just looking just looking for a little label here so that I can label it up. Because yeah, the unfortunate thing is that philodendron, when they're small, tend to all look the same. <laughs> so if one day I croak and my poor wife has to go through all the plants and try and sell them, she may want to know what they are. At least that's my uh, rationale for labeling everything well, besides obviously myself wanting to know what they are <laughs> if, I, if I forget. All right, so there we go, all labeled and uh, ready to grow. Get it? Ready to go, ready to grow. So what else can I include in this video? So I went to Bunnings. <laughs> Big surprise, right? I went to Bunnings today. I was getting a few things for packing plants and two things happened. Two things happened, a few things happened. Uh, I got some more labels for plants as I'm sort of running down to the last pack here. Um, I found a Letterborea socialis. I'm not sure if you've ever seen one of these, but they're like these little bulb plants. And I got it because I saw this in a video that I was watching on the Cactus Quest channel. And I might show you a small clip from there. I'm sure that Hunter won't mind, you know, free shout out to him. So these are Jeez. Alita Laborias. The main characteristic, look at the polka dots. Right. Every one of these has polka dots, except if you turn it over, there's no polka dots on the back. And, and this is the only species of all the Letoboreas that has polka dots, not just in the front, but also in the back. Right. So I love these. These are actually a bulb. Yeah. It's a bulb and you can see how they're growing. But I saw this plant and I just thought, wow, this is really interesting based on the clip that I saw. So yeah, when, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'll just keep an eye out for it. And then I just happened to stumble upon this serendipitously today in Bunnings and thought, you know what, I'm just gonna lash out and grab it. It was $6.45, so you know, about the, the price of a large coffee. And um, yeah, it's apparently a voracious grower and just keeps sending out more and more and more little bulbs and little plants, and then you can break them off and turn them into new plants and give them away and all that sort of stuff. So let's see how this guy goes, but I'll probably chuck him outside with the cacti for now. Let it keep growing until it's completely filled up this pot and then um, plant it up into something larger. And then the next thing was that I saw these plants on the ground in Bunnings. So we have, and they're so ugly guys, these little like combined uh, cacti planters. They're just wanting to sell the planters, right? And they chuck in these cheap cacti. Anyway, I don't have one of these Gymnocalesium variegated um, grafts. And so I thought, you know, I saw these under the shelf, the planter had fallen off the shelf and smashed. Someone had obviously moved it around and just left it there. So I asked someone, one of the workers there and said, can I just get these, you know, do you mind if I take them, try and revive them, take care of them, you know, otherwise that you guys are just gonna chuck them in the bin. And she was like, 
yeah, no worries, just pick them up and take them out there. And I was like, I kind of need you to come with me because if I just walk up with this, it looks like I've ripped them out of the pot and that it was, you know, me who did it and I'm trying to do it so that I get a deal. And she was like, all right. So she took them up there with me and they put them through for 50 cents for both. So I got two cacti here for 50 cents. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. I think it's some sort of a mammalaria. I'll have to try and work it out using uh, some of those what do you call them, the, the apps, the plant identification apps. But this one is a Gymnocolisium uh, mihanovicii, and it's variegated. It, well, that's how the variegation looks in some cacti, right? They come out red, yellow, orange, pink, some of these crazy colors. And it is on some, I think this is dragon fruit, uh, grafting stock. So again, just thought I would grab them, chuck them in some soil, see how they go, see if I can revive them. And it's mainly for me to just kind of learn about yeah, these cacti gain some experience from it. So no harm, right? No harm, no harm in asking. So I'm gonna go grab some pots and some cacti soil and we'll pot them up. So I've grabbed two different size pots. I think this is a six centimeter one. This one's an eight centimeter one. I think obviously this one will be able to handle the smaller pot, but the other one I think has quite a significant root system. And so we'll probably do better in a slightly larger pot. Okay, so there is that one. That's what that one's looking like. Get it, reference to the previous video. I remember things. More than just a pretty face, guys. More than just a pretty face. Um, all right, I'll stop jerking myself off. Anyway, uh, let's plant this guy up. There's what this one's looking like. And it is funny, every time I give myself a compliment, I don't know if it's really just an Australian thing, but I'm always thinking, of that line from Rick and Morty where Rick's talking to Morty saying, yeah, okay, Morty, don't break your arm jerking yourself off, okay? You know? Saved your ass. All right, Morty, don't break an arm jerking yourself off. <laughs> so, I love that one. Don't break your arm jerking yourself off. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. This uh, video is getting derailed. So this one looked like, looks like it has a little bit of cosmetic damage um, from the fall, <laughs> from the, uh, the disaster. When some butters, butterfingers went in there and um, tipped it over, it's looking a bit bald on the top, just like the uh, new owner. But it's okay, mate. We'll, we'll work through it together. I've got ya. All right, so some of the soil. Boop. Sweet. So I think that's sort of all there is to this video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I will try and keep you updated with how these different plants go. I'm definitely really pumped to see how this luxuriance goes so fingers crossed that it doesn't die in my care but who knows sometimes sometimes shit happens <laughs> anyway thanks for joining me it's always a pleasure guys check this video out next and i'll see you there Turu. bloody hell i'm covered in bloody peaches cat hair this is the worst part about wearing black shirts is that any of the fur shows up but the good thing is it sort of hides your fat so you know you don't get any weird shadows on there showing that you look like zoidberg anyway I didn't know you could take this thing off. It was starting to get a little cramped in there, so I molded, why not? Ah, the fresh air feels good. Stop doing that!